Hi friends, uh, today I am going to discuss about uh, general microbiology. That is the very first topic of this general microbiology that is uh, differences between gram positive and gram negative bacteria. We, we mainly divide bacteria into gram positive and gram negative types, right? Uh, so we have uh, what are the examples of gram positive bacteria and how they are differ from each other. First of all, I would like to tell about gram positive bacteria. In gram positive, we have cocci, which is a round shaped bacilli, which is rod shaped and branched filaments. Branched filaments are uh, more likely uh, to be bacillus form, but they are branched. In cocci, uh, we have staphylococcus, uh, which are arranged in clusters, streptococcus, uh, where cocci are arranged in uh, chains, pneumococcus, and enterococcus. In enterococcus, uh, there, there will be a short chains. There will be a pair of short chains. Coming to bacilli, mycobacterium, corinibacterium diphtheriae, clostridium, listeria. These come under bacilli. And coming to branched filaments, actinomyces and nocardia come under bacilli, which, are bran which have branched, branching filaments. These are about, uh, this is all about the gram examples of gram positive bacteria. Coming to gram negative bacteria, we, here also we have cocci, round shaped bacteria, bacilli, rod shaped bacteria, and uh, spiral shaped bacteria also. Coming to the examples of cocci, Neisseria uh, is the main common genus. Moraxella is also in this uh, type of. Uh, gram negative cocci, Neisseria, Moraxella, etc. Coming to gram negative bacilli, E. coli, Klebsiella, Escherichia coli, Klebsiella, Salmonella, Shigella, Proteus, Vibrio, Pseudomonas. All these are enteric enteropathogens. These are uh, present, uh, cause some enteric problems. Coming to this, which cause respiratory problems, these are Legionella, Haemophilus. These cause uh, respiratory problems. Coming to the spiral shaped ones, Spiral shaped gram negative bacteria, Treponema and Leptospira. These are gram negative spiral shaped organisms. Differences between gram positive and gram negative. What are they? Generally, gram positive have a thicker cell wall, thicker cell wall, and this retains the primary color. And I am going to tell you how what's the what is the gram chain and how it will be done. In gram negative, there will be increased uh, lipid levels in cell wall. They dissolve easily. Uh, by the decolorizer that is alcohol or maybe a stone. And gram positive cell wall after gram staining they will appear in purple blue color because they stain the primary stain which is a gentian violet or a methyl violet. Whereas gram negative after gram stain, gram stain appears reddish pink. Coming to the process of gram staining, consider this as a bacteria and in the first step we have we add crystal violet or a methyl violet. Methyl violet is added to the bacteria. And in the second process, fixator, this is called, this is also called as mordant. Iodine is a mordant. This fix the primary stain to the bacteria. And then decolorize uh, with uh, alcohol and acetone. We decolorize the stain with alcohol. Gram pass 2 will not decolorize because uh, they, st they retain the primary stain. Gram negative will decolorize. The reason I have told you earlier. In after decolorization, we add counter stain uh, that is safranin, which is uh, lightly reddish pink in color. Hence, we will have purple, blue, and red, reddish pink uh, colors to these organisms. This is the process of uh, gram stain. Coming to gram positive cell envelope, what are the things? What are the layers it have? Firstly, we have from in, inwards to outwards, we have cell membrane, cell wall, surface proteins and capsule. Not all of the bacteria have capsule, some have capsule. Most of the gram positive have capsule. Cytoplasmic membrane is a phospholipid bilayer with some proteins in it. Cell wall is a peptidoglycan. Surface proteins are, this is the virulence factor producing thing in the gram positive. Whereas capsule is a polysaccharide thing. These are from uh, inverse to outside layers of uh, gram positive cell wall. Coming to gram negative cell wall, uh, 
there will be inner membrane or cytoplasmic membrane periplasmic space this is the difference between the gram pasteur and gram negative and an outer membrane and a capsule also very less uh, bacteria have capsule in gram negative uh, coming to periplasmic space is a peptide has a peptidoglycan inner membrane and outer membranes are uh, phospholipid bilayers whereas capsule is a polysaccharide capsule is a polysaccharide these are the uh, a little bit difference between gram pasteur and gram negative organisms i will discuss in detail about uh, the other things outer membrane uh, contains uh, endotoxin endotoxin is also called as liposaccharide thank you for watching please like comment uh, sub share please like my subscribe my channel and have a nice day